Protesters have been on the streets of Richmond for several weeks now, calling for racial equality and an end to police brutality. City crews removed some of the Confederate monuments this week, and the mood in Virginia's capital appears to be more celebratory. 13 News Now photojournalist Stephen Wozni shows us. Music heals, you know, I mean, whenever I'm down and depressed, whenever I put on my favorite album, I'm always, that's always what brings me back. And I'm just like, hey, we should just set up, play for the people. When you actually come out here, you see people coming together, you see people walking, you see people really having fun with one another at a safe point in time, recognizing that there is an issue in America. Symbols do have power and they do communicate to our community who uh, is welcome and who isn't welcome. I mean, these monuments just represent the Confederacy and slavery. I mean, all these people fought to keep slaves slaves. <laughs> Jazz came from the blues and spirituals and all that came from working in the fields and how it has evolved to this day, 2020. Do you feel torn about the moments when you feel like you can step away and experience communal joy? And like, it's a good reminder that we have to keep putting our head to the grindstone. But clearly this is powerful. And so it feels really empowering and I hope it also sends a message to fellow young people that you are capable of doing this in so much more is honestly about just being able to put yourself out there and use the voice that God gave you and run with it. Preach, young man, preach. Richmond Mayor LeVar Stoney said the city's remaining Confederate monuments will be removed as soon as possible as they've now become a safety risk.